What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! All right, we're going back to Soundgarden. Yes, indeed. Soundgarden fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbidi bibbidi bob, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from MAT. Yes, and this is actually MAT's prioritized request for the month of November for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page, so, here you go, Emmett. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Emmett wanted to see me react to this. It is Soundgarden with a song entitled Pretty Noose. It's pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, Wait a second. Hold it. I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Andrew. Okay. And the video has 1.6 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Soundgarden, pretty noose. Short, sweet, to the point. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. and see thank what the bass player was doing did did it and did it and did it was he really doing those yes he was wow Oh. 
F to the G A. I'm still hearing that. The 16th. The 216 pickup. That's, man. No, that's not even, wait, that's not. No, that's 30 second notes. Two. Yeah, that's 16th notes. That's not 16th. That's 32nd notes. So the two 32nd Nick pickups instead of a single 16th. Wow. Okay. That's no. I I dig it. I like I like the approach. Uh, I believe his name. I, I think his name's Ben. Pretty sure his name's Ben. Uh, the bass player. I like it. I really like that. That's nice. 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 Some really interesting chordal movement within the chordal progression. So we're in the key of C major, but we're staying around A minor, which is, you know, that's the, you know, natural minor of, of C major. Um, no sharps or flats. It's just A, but it's A minor, but within the key of C, obviously. But utilizing the A as the dominant chord within the verse, A up to C, down to F, up to G, down to D. And then up to the F again. It, not at all what I saw happening. You, like, if you, this is not a predictable. Like, okay, once you hear the chordal progression a few times through, you start to get the feel of it. It's like, okay, now I get it. But when you hear this for the very first time, like I'm hearing it for the very first time, you could not have predicted that. You could not have predicted going down to the D the way they did. I, there's no way. A, down to the F, to the G. No, A, down to the F, to the C, to the G, I think it was. Wait, 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 wait. let me hear it again. Let me, maybe I'm wrong. Wait a minute, am I hearing a different part? Hold on. There's the D. Okay, so that, all right. C. Okay, so it's A to C to F to G. Okay, A to C to F. It would make it feel more natural to go to A. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was feeling. You know, root to the three, down to the minor six, up to the minor seven. I was thinking and I was feeling, okay, we're going to go back up to the A again. No, instead, we go down to the fourth. We go down to the D. I didn't see that coming. I Not from a mile away. I. You, you just... Like I said, I'm sure there are a lot of people that are listening to or watching this video right now going, how did you not know that? I, I've known that for years. Yeah, you know it for years because you heard the song and you know where the song's going to go. I'm hearing the song for the first time. I Ask yourself this. When you heard the song for the first time, did you know it was going to go down to the D like that? No, you didn't. No, you did not. Get real. No, you did not. Um, That is really cool. That is really cool. I like that. I like that riff. I like the song. It's got a nice groove. It feels good. The bass work. I love that. 30 second note. I love that. Um, the guitar works nice. Sounds good. The guitar tone sounds good. Uh, Chris's vocals on this. 
strong. Not the most amazing I've ever heard from him, but it's up. It, it's good. It's better than good. It's great. It's definitely up there, man. I like it. There, I got no complaints about this. None. None whatsoever. I'm digging the tune as a whole. So, anyway, let, let's let's keep going here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, uh, I got zero complaints. Zero complaints. Everything about this song was nice. Nice. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Soundgarden with Pretty Noose. This was a request from M. At, and this was actually M. At's prioritized request for the month of November for being a Silver Tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, M. At. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Okay. Um. <laughs> there, there's. Okay. I said pretty much everything I needed to say during the course of the reaction. So. I'm gonna try to keep this short. I'm hoping I can. Uh, we'll we'll see. But I mean, there's there's a few things I would like to discuss. Uh, but I've already discussed them at length. But I, I do feel they need to be reiterated. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how this review goes. Let's start with the score first. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give that an eight point five. Yep. 8.5, I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first, an 8.5, what does that mean? Well, an 8.5 would translate to a great scale rating, so overall, I think this was a great song. It would get four to five stars and an A minus letter grade. So there you go, an 8.5, great scale rating, four to five stars, and an A minus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> so glad you asked. Okay, I know this isn't the highest scoring song that Soundgarden had on the channel. I, I I understand that. I know it's not the highest scoring, and, and to be perfectly honest with you, it's not the most impressively written song by Soundgarden that I've heard on the channel either. 
Having said that, though, I am going to say this, and I know I'm going to probably blow some people's minds when I say this. I would, out of all the songs I've heard by Soundgarden, I would put this in my top 10. <laughs> Absolutely, hands down, without question. Uh, the groove on this song was nice. I love the groove. Um, it just it had a little bit of that dirty feel to it. It was it not not like in a sloppy and unclean way, but just that dirty kind of funk groove to it. I I I, I was feeling it. I was enjoying it. Um, I'm gonna start in a weird place though. Uh, the musicianship. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but I gotta start with the bass player. I loved those 30 seconds. Did it? 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 You slow it down. You hear that hammer on pull off? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Man, that was nice. That was nice. Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming a mile. Away. No, that was a surprise, and I liked it. And the thing is. I know a lot of people say, well, he went to the well way too often. I respectfully disagree. As a bass player, you're going to play patterns. You're going to. Um, in a song like this, in a style of music like this, you're going to find patterns. Especially something like that, that really adds with those pickup notes. Did -da -din, did -da -din, did -da -din, did -da -din. Those 30 second note pickups. I mean, it just, it just felt really good and helped add to the character of the song. And to be honest with you, when it came to the bass playing aspect of the song, I think it was the most interesting part. So I, I don't have any problem with them coming back to it and doing it repeatedly over and over and over again. I got no issue with it, with it whatsoever. I know people are like, it's one trick pony -ish. No, it's not. It's called Groove. Deal with it. That's a fact. The guitar playing on this was really nice. I, I had no issue with anything that the guitar player did. Um, it's Everything he did sounded good. It was... I like this guitar tone on this. I've heard him have thicker, crunchier guitar tones than he had on this particular song. The, the guitar tone on this song was a little twangier than what you normally hear from him. I like it. In this song, with that type of a feel and that type of a groove, I like the twangier tone. I think it was absolutely necessary. If, I, if you were to try and utilize some of the thicker and crunchier tones that he's had on other songs in this song, I think the song would have lost some of its charm. I think the song would have lost some of its appeal and some of its shine. I, I like the fact that he did change it up with his tone and it fit like a glove. Uh, Chris Cornell's vocals on this. Now, if I'm being honest, I've heard more impressive vocal work from him. You know, I, I have it, within Soundgarden, within Audio Slave, within uh, some of his solo work. I, I've heard far more impressive vocal performances. Having said that though, his vocal performance in this was great. It wasn't magnificent, it wasn't stupendous, but it was great. Uh, the range, not trying to shoot over what he's capable of doing. There was never a moment where his vocals sounded strained or thin or breathy or airy or weak. Everything he sang sounded strong, unless he brings it down dynamically which of course naturally is going to soften up a bit, but that's just how, that's just the nature of the game. And but as far as range, power, and projection goes, I had no issue with anything he did. Everything sounded just fine. He did a great job. Drumming on this, uh, probably my second favorite part of the song. The bass playing was my favorite. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a bass player, I'm biased, sue me. Uh, no, but the drumming on this was really nice. Some really nice patterns and fills. Uh, being done by Matt Cameron on this. I had no issue with anything he did. Uh, great job establishing that groove, that 4-4 groove with uh, that little bit of a dirty funk feel to it, man. I love it. I loved everything about it. Um, no, I had absolutely no issue with this song whatsoever. Uh, the other thing that really kind of... It, it, and I'm, I'm going to say this, and I don't say this lightly. The songwriting impressed me. Um... It went in directions that I didn't see coming. I, 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 for example, the section we talked about, the A to the C to the F to the G. Now we're going from F to G. You would think we're going to go back up to A, right? Wrong. We went down to D from there. Uh, didn't see that coming. And that's just one example. There were several other examples that uh, I, I could give that followed the same thing. Didn't see it coming, 
But once I heard it a couple times, I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense. That feels good. That sounds good. I like what they did there. Not predictable, not even anticipatable. Um, the only reason you would know you're gonna go in that direction is if you've heard the song before several times and you know it's gonna go there. Well, this is my first time hearing the song, so I wasn't ready for it. And it blew me out of the water a little bit. I was like, wait a minute, where did we go there? What, we, we went, where? Oh. Huh. I like it. That, that's different. It's different. It's not the same old cliche, you know, one, six, three, seven. It's not, it's not that. It's not the same old Z pattern. It's a little different. I like it. I liked it a lot. I, I liked where this song went with its chordal progression. It felt good. It sounded good. A little awkward the first time hearing it, but by the time you hear it the third time, you're like, oh yeah, that, that feels good, man. So yeah, I think this was a great song overall. Not the best song I've heard from them, not the most impressive song I've heard from them, but on a personal level, top 10, top 10. I dug the song, I dug the groove, and I will absolutely be listening to this again without question. This is going on playlists for sure. Driving around town, yes. Driving on long drives, absolutely. Gym, nah, not intense enough for the gym, but it, it's still going on my driving playlists no questions asked so yeah 8.5 i feel good about that score and that's where we're gonna stay so let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow shall we we have an 8.5 which is a great scale rating four to five stars and an a minus letter grade take your pick i don't care whichever one of those floats your boat final word final score i have spoken well, that's going to do it for this edition of reactions reviews and rants hope you all enjoyed the show hopefully i was able to entertain you if I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.